Hello everyone. I've got a new quick uh, Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, some basic animation and very basic modeling. Uh, mostly just deforming some primitives. So let's fire up Cinema 4D. This is R14. So we'll start by making a ground plane. And we're going to stretch this out. Make it a, like a, a long surface where something can move across. Um, and we're going to also make a sphere. Okay, I'm going to reduce the size of that guy. And move it up. And then we're going to make ourselves a tube. Okay, tube's going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit larger than the sphere. We're going to end up dropping that sphere inside there. So let's get a look at that. It's a little bit large still, so let's shrink it down a little bit. I think that's pretty good, and we'll thin thin out the walls of that a touch. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bend the end of this so that it uh, has sort of a funnel effect to scoop that ball up. So let's right click that tube and choose make editable and from there we're going to go to uh, face selection mode. Okay, So we're going to move in here and control click and select each of these faces. I'm sorry shift click to select each of these faces and work our way around and ultimately we're going to take and rotate these faces to give the end of this tube somewhat of a uh, funnel scoop effect. Just bear with me, we'll get these here. Alright, now we need to move our axis on this so that we can rotate it and uh, so we'll move over here to axis enable axis and we're going to move that axis over to the edge of that tube just outside of the primitive there and then move it up just a bit all right just need to be outside it and up a little bit now we're going to take off axis selection enabling axis and we're going to grab our rotation tool and we're going to rotate this guy up so with this red handle and while you're clicking control click one little increment at a time and you'll see that we're creating new segments here as we work our way into the rotation and we're about to get there we want to have this surface level with the ground plane but not quite 45 degrees so that looks good now turn off your uh, selection tool by moving into live selection okay and then go back to object mode. Okay, so now we can take this guy and rotate it. And we want this entrance to be approximately ground level. And we're pretty close right there. Alright, so that looks good. Now let's move it up. And we're going to move it up off the ground. Zoom back and we're going to move it backwards and down a touch. So that looks pretty good. Now let's take this sphere and move it into place over this this hole. Bring it up a bit so that it's got a little bit of force behind it when we decide to drop it. And I think that looks good. Let's move it back down and see how it intersects with that. It could probably come back a touch. Okay, I think that looks good. Now let's move it back up. All right. To make these things animate on their own, we need to give them some um, simulation tags. So, what are we going to do? The sphere is going to be a rigid body, meaning it can interact with other things and freely move about when the interaction occurs. So, to do that, we right click the sphere and under simulation tags, give it the rigid body tag. Okay. The tube, it's going to behave differently. It's going to also interact with other things, but it's going to be stationary. So we're going to give, we're going to right click the tube and give it a simulation tag of a collider body. Alright, now the plane. We want the plane to interact, but we don't want it to be able to move. So like we did with the sphere, we're going to give the plane a rigid body tag. So right click the plane, simulation tags, and rigid body. 
Okay. So, everything would appear that we've got it set. We followed the instructions and we're giving our element to the proper uh, dynamics tags. So let's increase our timeline to 500 frames. And we'll stretch that out. And at this point, we'll click play. Okay. Well, the sphere did the right thing. It fell. But the plane didn't do the right thing. It fell too. So, what did we do? What do we have happening here? This tag is what? It is a collision tag. It should be a collider body. It should not move. So we'll delete that tag. And if we do it this time without any tag, you'll see that it won't move, but it won't interact with that sphere either. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to take that plane and give it a Cinema 4D simulation tag of a collider body. Now, this time if we play it, you see that it's sitting stationary. Of course, the sphere is not interacting with it because it's not on the path to interact with it. But also one thing is when we click play, you'll see that this sphere is falling in the right direction, but it's not passing through that tube like, like you'd expect that it would. So what we need to do is we need to select that tube and under its dynamics body tag we need to scroll down here under the shape and we need to tell the tube to have the shape of a static mesh. Okay, So now when we click play, rewind this, you'll see that that ball interacts properly like you'd expect that it would. Okay, So it's rolling along, it's our spheres stand in place, the sphere and the plane is are interacting like they should. But watch this. It's going to roll off the end. Okay. So how do we resolve that? Well, let's do this. Let's select that plane. We're going to right click it. But before we do that, let's see what our uh, let's reduce our segments down to one and one. Okay. Now we got the plane selected. Let's right click it and make it editable. Okay. And then we're going to go into edge selection tool. Right here. Select this edge and then with a control click drag it up. Okay. Now so we've got a barrier there, but it's not going to behave like you'd expect. You'd think, well, the sphere rolled, hit the plane, interacted with that, but the plane didn't move, and it would roll down here and bump off of that. Well, let's, let's give it a shot. Well, it went right through it. So, what does that mean? Well, just like we did with the tube, we need to change some attributes of how this interacts with things. So, we got the plane selected. Let's go into Dynamics Body Area. Scroll back down under the shape, and we're going to tell it also to be a static mesh. So, now when we rewind and play, you'll see that it interacts properly. Alright, so that was a pretty basic tutorial in animation. Just some basics, uh, get you an idea of uh, dynamics and colliders and rigid bodies. But I decided before I end the video, I wanted to go back in and uh, maybe have some fun. And with this, I mean, let's have this ball co collide into some different objects. So I've created a sphere here and have it sketched, a uh, uh, cube here and have it stretched out. I'm going to duplicate that, control C and D, and I'm going to put several of them out here, and uh, we'll let this ball roll down here and do some damage. So let's copy these, control C and V, control C and V, put some out here and we'll see if it has a chance to make it out there. Alright, so we've got all of our, let's grab them all and move them, center them up here. All right, so let's take and let her rip. Yeah, I think we could probably could do better than that. Let's take that sphere and raise him up a little bit. Give her a shot. There we go, getting a little better. Let's work right, go down to this end and have a look, see. Alrighty, 
let's play it again. So, just another way to have fun, get a better look at how objects react with one another. Alrighty, I hope you enjoy that. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, I'd like to have a thumbs up from you. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.